Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now let's begin this bizarre story. Story 12, Shapeshifting Nightmare Hello, paranormal poet. This encounter sounds truly bizarre and unbelievable, but I know what I heard that night. My name is Shante Malik, or Shante for short. When I was a young girl, I specifically remember this day because of how terrifying it was. It started at my grandpa's funeral. After the service, we had all the cousins show up to hang out. As a kid growing up in New Zealand, we would play this game called Spotlight. It's just hide and seek, but you have to make it past the guards with the flashlights. It was dark out and I was a guard. I counted to 30 and began scanning the tree line. Now seeing movement in the bushes didn't scare me, but the second I turned to face my field, my light caught the glimpse of an old woman leering at me. She had a black cloak on, fabric swaying in the wind, I was truly petrified, but nothing terrified me more than me looking away for one second to realize she had disappeared. I got scared and ran inside, hoping what I saw was somehow an illusion. The next morning, I went to the same field where I saw her, this time accompanied by my stepsister. I gathered as much courage as I could and cautiously walked into the field. It was filled with tall weeds, so we bushwhacked our way to a clearing. At first, I didn't notice anything strange, until I looked a few feet in front of me. At the base of an old tree stump were a pile of bones. My heart dropped to my stomach. I could feel a wave of intense chills build over me. These bones looked similar to human, but I was sure it was a big animal. Maybe a deer? I couldn't be sure. We stood there in shock for a few seconds. My stepsister wasn't getting a good feeling either. Then out of nowhere, the strangest, most bone-chilling scream emanated from the forest nearby. It sounded like a coyote howling, but this also sounded like it was made by a human. We took off running to the house, completely panicked, and promised we'd never go back to that area. To this day, I don't know who I saw or what I heard in the woods, but one thing is for sure, those bones were most likely used with ill intent, knowing how fresh they were. Word of advice for your viewers, if you ever go playing in the dark, be careful, the dark has eyes too. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.